Diego, it is great to talk with you once again. Always a pleasure. You know, you are with Bones Adams for the second straight fight. First of all, can you tell us about, you know, the chemistry that you have with Bones Adams? This is your second fight together, but you've known each other since you were nine years old. Uh, What is that like and how special is that to be able to work with a trainer who understands you? Well, let me tell you, it's a, it's a family affair, family business. You know, Bones is family to me. And going into every fight, you know, being a mature old man is what they're calling me nowadays. You know, it, it feels good because I know where my priorities are. Diego, what was that victory like over Austin Dulé? You know, you went ahead and got the knockdown in the 12th round. And how big was that victory for you to be able to get back in the win column? Well, it was huge because um, my last my last teammate or my my last team that I had um, was you know pretty much calling me saying oh you know you're, you're old you're washed up you're done you know what I mean so I went back and I didn't like that idea I went back and I rejuvenated my whole team so rejuvenation over here is Bones Adams you know so um, taking that away you're never too old to be better and that's where that's what we're here we're here to do this and you know serve serve ass whoopings to these young guys because the last opponent they thought was, you know, 24 years old coming over, coming over an old man. And I, I proved the world different. You know, now everyone's believing again in Fuego. Now I'm going to start this show off with some fire. You know, they had me lined up first on, on a stack card, and I'm ready to get in there and, and give it my all because they, they pushed this fight back way too many times, and I'm ready now.